This is a story about us. The story I want to tell you is a remarkable story about the inhabitants of a small and rocky, ocean-covered little world in orbit around an ordinary star in an ordinary galaxy. And this story goes that these beings, with soaring imagination and laughing at the idea of boundaries and limitations, over time developed the languages of mathematics and science, became skilled technologists, developed mastery over gravity, and eventually flung themselves and their machines into the interplanetary space surrounding them. And they did this merely in response to an innate desire to explore and to learn about their cosmic neighborhood and to secure the future of their progeny and to seek the answers to questions that had vexed them and every generation of their ancestors before them, how is it that their small planet and they living on it came to be? And what is the great cosmic theater in which life on their planet had unfolded? Well, you probably figured it out already, but this is a story about us. And we humans have been interplanetary travelers now for over 50 years. We've been to just about every corner of the solar system. We've been to all the planets, all eight of them. We even right now have a spacecraft on its way to Pluto. And of course, we have set foot on our own moon 40 years ago this year. And these magnificent journeys, these long, arduous journeys, have in fact rewarded us with insights into the origin of the Earth and its fellow planets and they have shown us with startling clarity our place in the cosmos. The most memorable of Cassini's returns is an image that will probably be Cassini's greatest legacy. Across a billion miles of interplanetary space, we can spot our own planet Earth nestled in the arms of Saturn's rings. There is a powerful recognition that stirs within us when we see our own gorgeous little blue ocean planet as it would be seen by others in the skies of other worlds. It's a recognition that never fails to move us. And it is here, in this picture, where Darwin meets Galileo. Because it is a picture that's made possible by Galileo's first experiments with gravitation so long ago. And it is a picture that, to me, shouts evolution. I look at this image and I see our ancestors stepping down from the trees and walking upright for the first time onto the African savannas and pausing to look back at the forest from which they came. And I look at this image and I see a species that is positively unyielding in its pursuit of knowledge and brave and fervent in its longing to grasp the meaning and the significance of its own existence. And finally, I see in this image the very best that humanity has to offer. We are perhaps the small and troubled inhabitants of one tiny little planet, but we are also the dreamers and the thinkers and the explorers who took this picture. One world across a billion miles of space to another, the extraordinary citizens of planet Earth.